good news here on Wisp Sport is we're heading down under and we had a chance to catch up with Liz Wardley, who again is reviewing on her Sydney Hobart and telling us how it was in her words. So Liz, congratulations. A successful Sydney Hobart. So many people didn't make it. How was the race for you? Well, for us, it was actually um, really good conditions. You know, we had a perfect boat for, for what was thrown at us and we actually had a lot of fun. So um, where a lot of people had a bit of... Um, misfortune we um it was it, well it was great for us you know we went through the front and we could push at 100 percent and we were lucky that we anticipated it and negotiated it pretty well because um it was all pretty smooth and we could just go fast <laughs> well you were on board maserati uh which is a former volvo 70 and uh you you know i know you thrive in those conditions but how like big were the waves and how windy was it kind of describe a little bit because it was talked about as being heinous you know on all the reports so it'd be good to have your perspective um well we were a little bit further east than the majority of the fleet so maybe we got it a little bit um easier but uh we only saw 40 knots for a very, very short time, probably just in a passing gust. Um, but we had sustained breeze of 33s to 35s for a few hours. But the problem is we're, given the location down in Bass Strait, it's very shallow, so the sea state picks up very, very quickly. So um, it wasn't the size of the waves, it was the spacing of the waves. You know, you couldn't really drive around them, so it, it was a bit, it was pretty bouncy and pretty, it looked pretty impressive, but... Um, <laughs> But as I said, we had the right boat for it, being a boat built for to go around the world. So um, we managed to just sort of fly over them. Nice. And the finish for so many boats was so close. Did you get the position you were aiming for or was there any frustration at the end or just celebrations? I'm very happy, but at the same time, a little bit frustrated because, you know, fourth over the line and in um, and in division was um, a pretty, pretty good result. You know, we, we'd been hoping for a top 10. Um, and the fact that we had seen Ragamuffin for half a day the day before the, the finish and then we, we kind of found a hole of no wind off the Tasman coast and we lost quite a few miles on them and the guys behind us caught up. It was a little bit, um, a little bit frustrating because we'd been so close. Yeah, it was definitely a stressful finish, even just watching as a spectator. And I know what the Derwent can be like, but to have the boat so close, and I think it was the same for um, Rambler and Comanche had a similar kind of battle. So it was really nice uh, to see you guys pushing till the end. We were definitely, we were watching them on the tracker and just going, <laughs> I hope this doesn't happen to us. It would have been an owl biting. So now that sailing race is finished, you're now focusing on a much smaller vessel. What are you getting ready for now? Um, I've joined the uh, local canoe club here, the Fraser Coast Canoe Club, and uh, we're preparing for the national titles. So um, it's a sprints race. So whereas I'm used to sort of going out there for a few weeks at a time, this race is 250 metres long. So <laughs> I'm having to adapt um, adapt my style a little bit. Evidently, I do no longer have to harness my violence. I have to give it all. <laughs> and so your training's changed quite a lot to make this happen in just 250 metres. Yeah, I've um, I've actually contacted our former coach, Santi, from Team SCA, and uh, he's helping me out with some tips. So um, it's all on. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, you definitely look like you've got the weather. And when's the first race so we can see how you're getting on? Uh, so the, the Nationals are on the 5th and 6th of February. And before that, I'm heading down to Sydney next week to do the Far 40 Nationals. So that should be pretty exciting. There's no stopping. So when you're sailing in a regatta every day next week, how are you going to keep up with your training ready for the canoe? Have you got a plan? I have a plan. So I've joined a gym that's Australia-wide, <laughs> and there's one right up the road. <laughs> and whereas I won't have a canoe, I will have a rowing machine, which I hate. <laughs> so I'll be in there cursing Santi for making me go on a rowing machine oh well I have no doubt you've got the oomph to make it happen and I'll be really looking forward to it good luck in the far 40 nationals uh, next week and uh, wishing you all the best for the outrigger canoe and we're going to follow your progress thanks Liz thank you see you soon and goodbye Barney bye, bye.